So we've been covering the Sark transition to the University of Texas and who he's been bringing with him, and now his staff is finally complete, and we need to take a complete look at the staff that he has put together because, man, if I was a Texas fan, I would be super, super excited looking at this on paper. But before we do, y'all, I can't thank you enough. We passed 1,000 subscribers, and it really does mean the world to me, all the support y'all have given me. And it's, you know, YouTube is a funny thing. You kind of throw your voice into this void of opinions and hope that you get picked up and hope that someone cares. And I was very fortunate to find people who actually cared to hear what I had to say and who have helped build this channel. And I really can't thank y'all enough for all the support. It has meant the world to me and it has really affirmed that this is what I want to do. So with all that being said, y'all, if you're here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video. And is this Sark staff... I'll put, pin this down in the comments, but is this Sark staff something that y'all are super excited about, or do you think they could have done better? We'll talk about that in the comments, but let's get straight into this, because when I look at this Sark staff on paper, I am super excited. You know, we've talked about Jeff Banks and Kyle Flood, and so for the purpose of this, I'm not really going to hit too much onto them, but here's what I will say. Kyle Flood put together one of the greatest, if not the greatest, offensive line class at all time at Alabama. Jeff Banks is a guy who is phenomenal at recruiting the state of Texas, always has been. Kyle Flood, again, great offensive line coach. Those are out-of-the-park hires because they're great recruiters, they're great coaches, they're very smart guys. And Kyle Flood and Jeff Banks, those are the type of guys you want to bring with you when you're trying to build something, specifically when they have been knockout artists in that state in recruiting. So I think that that is an absolute win. I then look at a guy like Andre Coleman, the wide receiver coach hire, who's already nabbed in Armani Winfield, top 300 guy out of Louisville, Texas. Texas fans have to be excited about that because it shows that top level playmakers are already excited about what Sark has coming to the table. I think one of the hires that I haven't heard much about but might be my favorite on the staff is Bo Davis. Now, Bo Davis is a defensive line coach, and I think that this is one of the most underrated hires of this offseason. Bo Davis is a phenomenal both recruiter and defensive line coach. Alabama fans will remember him from his time at the Capstone and what he did. He recruited guys like Deron Payne, Kendall Sheffield, Terrell Lewis, and he even recruited Ben Davis, who didn't pan out, but that's not Bo Davis's fault. Ben Davis was ranked as the number one outside or inside linebacker. He was the number one linebacker in his class, and he's never panned out. But regardless, when you look at the plethora of talent Bo Davis has recruited, Bo Davis has coached, this is a phenomenal hire, specifically when you have so many talented guys in the state of Texas along the defensive front. They wished they could have kept some of the ones that they had in state this year, like a ton Mice Adelaide, that he went to AM. UT will be really vying for guys like that, and a Bo Davis is just going to make it all the easier to get them because he's got a lot of cachet behind his name and experience. So I think the Bo Davis hire is phenomenal. Now let's hit the one that's probably the biggest right now. Pete Kwiatkowski. Now, the Pete Kwiatkowski hire is, I think, a super good hire for a few different reasons. First off, he's been a phenomenal defensive mind in the game for some time. For those of you that remember the history of college football, Coach K was on the staff as a defensive coach for those famous Boise, that famous Boise State win over OU in the Fiesta Bowl. And not only that, when he was with the Huskies and when Mike Leach came in there at Washington State and really was just tearing up the pack with his scheme, Kwiatkowski never gave up more than 17 points to him. This is a guy who's very solid. Now, when we see Mike Leach in the SEC getting torn up, maybe we look at this different now, but for the time being, Kwiatkowski actually had the answer for him. He's been great in the secondary specifically. And I think when you pair a Kwiatkowski with a guy like a Terry Joseph, who Texas hired from Notre Dame, a Terry Joseph whose defenses have always been within the top 25. And if we look about two years ago, I believe it was, his defense was top five nationally against the pass. And that's your new cornerbacks coach, Texas fans, is Terry Joseph. The reason I think you pair both those guys together and DBs are super excited. Kwiatkowski has coached guys such as Buda Baker, Byron Murphy. So a cornerback is going to be very happy about that. And Terry Joseph has just put out guys that have been up for the Thorpe Award, that have been up for the Nowitzki Award. I mean, he has been super solid in his ability to put out guys and to coach guys up. 
pairing these two together, I think it's a slam dunk. I think it's also such a slam dunk that when you look at the landscape in Texas in the class of 2022, Texas is absolutely loaded for talent in the class of 2022. If we're talking top 300 guys, there are 37 guys that 24-7 Sports has ranked within the top 300 players in the nation in the state of Texas in the class of 2022. If we're talking top 100, there are 17 guys in the state of Texas ranked within the top 100 in the class of 2022. Now, is it feasible that they're going to get all of these guys? Absolutely not. That's not how the current landscape of college football recruiting works. Not when you have powerhouses within your state, and I call them powerhouses, but like an A&M is recruiting very well. They're holding their own in recruiting. They're playing good football. And you have a Baylor that has a young and exciting coach, and while Baylor isn't going to beat Texas in recruiting by any stretch of the imagination, I think y'all get what I'm trying to say. You're not going to land all 37 of the top 300 because recruiting isn't like that anymore. Recruiting is national, recruiting isn't regional, but in order to win, you must win your region. I think Texas is in prime position to win their region, whereas teams like A&M have been winning the region, teams like Alabama have been killing them in their own backyard. I think Texas can feel really good. And specifically, I think you hear me perk up when I talk about Coach Kwiatkowski and Terry Joseph because the number, I think he's a top 10 player in the nation. Denver Harris, cornerback out of Houston, Texas. That's a guy that if I'm Kwiatkowski, if I'm Terry Joseph, I'm hitting him up every single day because I think he has game-changing ability. And he is one of the guys where, yeah, we've already said, you're not going to be able to nab all 17 guys in the top 100. Recruiting is way too national. There are way too many voices vying for these guys. But if you can get six to seven of these top 100 guys to stay in state, starting with a Denver Harris, that's massive. An absolutely massive win, truly. So how do I rank this Sark staff? I would have to give him an A to an A+. And I, I say that with a bit of contempt as an Alabama fan, knowing that guys like Bo Davis, Jeff Banks, Kyle Flood, all former Bama guys are now with Sark at Texas, but I have to be real. And I think that these hirings are not only invigorating, they're incredibly exciting. Not only on the offensive side of the ball, but on the defensive side of the ball. I truly do feel like Sark understood what he didn't know and went after guys that have been proven Guys that have been proven and he feels like are going to mesh. Guys, as a, as a fan of some... I, I'm someone who prefers defensive football to offensive football. Now, that being said, I'm really loving this new offensive era because scheme is becoming such a chess match that it's super intriguing. But even then, I prefer defensive football. And I'm excited about Texas defensive hires because I think they're great. Like I said, guys, I'll be pinning it down in the comments. Who do, What do you think about this Sark hiring? Do you think that... The guys he's brought in with him is an A, a B. Where would y'all rank it? And how excited are you as Texas fans moving in now that we have the complete list of guys who are up on the block at the University of Texas who look to continue the tradition? I would be very excited. That's it for this video. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below. That's it. See ya.